Hi, my name is Nick Green, Hollywood on Trail. Hiking with your dog can be one of the most enjoyable and rewarding experiences. So here are five tips to have a fun and safe journey. Number one, breed matters. Otis here is a bull terrier husky mix, so he has a natural will and enthusiasm for the outdoors, along with the athletic ability to be outdoors. So the first thing to consider is to do your research and to figure out which breed is right for you. Number two is to get them acclimated. Don't just start with week-long, 100-mile adventures. Start with day hikes. See how they do. See how their endurance is holding up. Then you can slowly work your way into longer, more rugged journeys. Number three is to consider the climate. Your dog is going to want to be loyal to you on trail, so it will literally kill itself trying to be just that. Extremes in heat or in cold may result in severe health issues for your dog, and you may not be aware of it before it's too late. Dogs cool themselves down by panting, but they sweat out of the pads in their paws. So if the ground is too hot, that could be a big problem. So it's a wonderful idea to pay attention to the weather before you get out on trail. Number four is food, water, and gear. Your dog's gonna be working up quite an appetite out there, so you make sure you bring enough food for them, not only on a normal day, but on an adventure day as well. For water, you need to know exactly where your water sources are. And if there aren't any water sources, make sure you bring enough water for you, for your dog, and then some. In terms of gear, this is Otis's rough wear pack that he absolutely loves. It was really easy for him to get acclimated to it, but your dog may be a little bit different. It might take a little bit of time for them to get used to it. So I'd recommend uh, practicing with it first before strapping it on and going out into the wilderness. Number five is to work on obedience on trail. Your dog is not gonna be perfect, like maybe ever, but I think the goal is to get them as good as possible to where you're confident that they'll be with you every step of the way. Otis being part bull terrier and part husky means he's an extremely loyal dog. He wants to be with you. He wants to please you. However, he's also very stubborn. When he catches sight of something, he's going to go for it. And we're working on it every day that, okay, you might want to go for it, but you're not going to go until I tell you to go. And then you're going to come back to me as soon as I call you. The recall is extremely important. Just work on it. Don't get frustrated with it. Realize that this is a giant playground for them, as it is for you. They're going to want to explore, but they should be with you and under your guidance while they explore. Otis, come. Come on. Good boy, come on. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Get out there, have an adventure with your dog, have fun and be safe. Bonus tip, let your dog be a dog. He's gonna wanna chase squirrels and ducks and run around and climb trees. And if you let him do it under your guidance, he's gonna love you, <laughs> he's gonna love you for it. He's gonna be even more obedient, I promise. Ready, buddy? Go. Look, he's trying to get a duck. Go get him, buddy. Go get him. Oh, you're going to get him. He's laughing at you. And that's it.